Metro schools under fire from one family claiming administrators didn't do enough handling an alleged sexual incident involving a 15 year old girl. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres joins us after speaking with the teen's attorney. What did he have to say, Matthew? We're worried the family wants $3 million in damages. The attorney says that's a small drop in the bucket for what the young girl has gone through. Embarrassment, trauma that you've, you've sustained from something like this. Attorney Stephen Crawford says his 15-year-old client was forced to homeschool this year after facing severe threats, harassment, and bullying. Hard to imagine anything more devastating to a young girl. The teen's mother filed a federal lawsuit against Metro Schools claiming the district failed to comply with federal laws prohibiting discrimination on the basis of sex. It all stemmed from an incident at Hunters Lane High School in April. It is child porn. The lawsuit alleges the girl was pulled into an unlocked classroom by a male student and was subjected to, quote, unwelcome sexual conduct. A third student recorded the encounter and posted it online for everyone to see. When somebody takes that photo and they put it out there on social media, what they've done is re-traumatize the victim. And then the victimization happens over and over and over again. Valerie Craig with the Tennessee Voices for Victims educates students on cyberbullying. So we could begin to see that low self-esteem turn into self-destructive behaviors, like they may begin cutting themselves or there may be suicide attempts. Crawford says he is frustrated because the school failed to conduct an internal investigation. You're supposed to stop it. You're supposed to have an investigation. You're supposed to turn it over to the Title IX coordinator who, who looks into it to make sure that you're uh, preventing this from uh, continuing. The mother was told the video was deleted from students' phones. All three students, including the girl, were suspended for three days. One of the problems with a, uh, punishing the victim is that you won't tell the principal. If you go to the principal and you say, hey, somebody did something to me improperly, you're suspended. Well, who's gonna report that? Now, Metro schools have not been served a lawsuit just yet. A spokesperson says police were notified immediately and that appropriate protocols were followed. Metro police tell me there was no criminal investigation into the case. And after reviewing that video, the DA's office decided not to prosecute. Rory?